Hey guys, welcome to my channel, my channel, Lunar Eclipse Tarot, aka Kelly, 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 here with a general collective reading, keep in mind, because it is general, it may or may not resonate with your ass, <laughs> also keep in mind, Patreon did see it first, if you're interested, the link is down below in the description box, and let's get it on and pop in, y'all, let's see what it is that spirit wants to bring forward today what is it that you need to know what is going on what's going on in the energy hope you guys are having a beautiful day wherever you are wherever you stay if you dig my vibe please subscribe i usually say that at the end of the video but maybe a lot of new people i mean yeah if you if you like someone, you're going to obviously subscribe to them. That goes without saying, right? Do I have to tell you? Do I have to tell you? So the over... Wow. The overall energy is this person not feeling like they're currently ready. I feel... They have some things that they need to go through they need to work through before this person is able to be ready they do feel very very sorry that they're not ready to move forward right now whether this is at a subconscious level this person feels like you would definitely be the choice once they are ready Whenever that is, whenever that, whenever that is supposed to be, um, this person is deep in their feelings over you, really in like their head, thinking about you, thinking about this connection. It's almost sort of like they want to maybe just make a decision now, but I feel like it would be something that could be detrimental to the connection. So they keep it to themselves. And you know what? There could be a third party involved. There could be some type of outside influence. Wow. I feel like they're dealing with someone that they need to cut ties with. There's some kind of, again, outside influence. Um, maybe not necessarily a relationship or they're married to somebody, but there is definitely someone else of a love interest that is involved with this person who's very toxic. Very toxic. I feel like Maybe your person wasn't naturally their type. It's not someone that they see themselves being with. Yeah, it's really like this person is almost sort of like their victim. I feel they get their, there's some type of get up that's coming from this person, from your person, that this third party is able to maybe use them financially use them sexually use them in some type of way that is um good for them that works for them right now you know with everything that's going on i know a lot of people i think have like quit their jobs and you know so i just i feel like there's some situation it's like that like it's not a deep genuine love of any sort Again, this person kind of looks at them, your person. This person looks at your person like a victim, like someone that they're taking advantage of. But your person's really hurt not being around you. Like it's hurting them a lot. Wow. This third party, like I said, very toxic. It's like they intentionally try to do things to stress them out. They may know about you. Um, and here, your guy, 
or girl, take it as it as it is. Energy is fluid. It could be your energy also that I'm picking up on this reading. Um, it could be their energy that I'm picking up on. Intentionally trying to like start shit. Oh, and guy and girl. You can be a male in physical form. You can be a woman in physical form. The roles could be reversed depending on what journey you're on as well. Uh, your dude doesn't want to, and I said it again, your dude, your girl, your person, your person doesn't want to be with anybody else. They don't want to be with this third party anymore. Wow. I feel like some of you could know that they're dealing with somebody else too, and maybe you are just no longer involved with them. They want to come back. They feel like you're giving up on them and the connection because of whatever it is that you're seeing. So you could be seeing things that are making you feel like um, maybe that the feelings are mutual. I feel like this third party is intimidated by you. If they do know about you, they're very intimidated by you. They could have looked you up on social media. I don't know why I feel like they do know about you. I feel like this person, whoever this person is, does know about you. I feel like right now the intimacy that your person wants to experience is not really bearing their soul, not bearing all. So this third party situation really works for them. Obviously, this person doesn't seem to be moved doesn't seem to be moved, doesn't really see a future, does not feel like they are going to end up together. Your person, your person, I feel like they're in denial as well. Like they have, they have some issues and some fears. Um, and it's interesting because their fears are actually of being used. And that's what the fuck this third party is doing to them. They make a lot of mistakes. I feel like they had an opportunity to not get involved with this third party. And they did it anyways. And now, feeling like it was a big mistake. I don't, it's like they don't know how to really end this. They don't know how to change it. They don't know how to, they don't know how to face Face this, maybe even face some of the demons that they're fucking playing with. I feel like that's why they're with this other person. It's very minimal, very minimal. They don't have to really do any deep soul searching. They don't have to change their ways. They don't have to. There's a lot, there's a lot that they would have to change first by releasing this person this karmic person this whoever it is this toxic ass that they're fucking dealing with that um is really using and abusing so they're your person is afraid of being used and abused and that's exactly what they're dealing with and it doesn't fucking matter to them it would matter more if it came from you with this other person it there's really no attachment there. Absolutely no attachment. But they still know that they made a mistake even playing with this person. Okay. I would say this person definitely, the third party, knows about you. They know about you, um, however it is that they know about you. They know. They sense the distance. They may have even caught this person um, maybe looking at photos of you. Hmm. Really wanting to know what it is that you're doing. I feel like they look you up. Or if you have some kind of, I don't know, I feel like they got their fucking friends like looking you up. Wanting to know how you are. 
third party doesn't like that shit. Maybe that's how that came back. That might have come back through one of the friends dealing with this third party. The third party knows about you. Wow. Damn. There's some type of gain that this karmic, I'm going to just refer to as karmic now. Um, there's some type of gain, whether it's money, some kind of like financial up. Maybe they're out of work. They need, they're like depending on your person to take care of them. So they're really just like <sighs> using, hopefully not abusing your person. Definitely trying to stress them out intentionally. Trying to stop the connection because they're not ready to give up your person yet. They're not ready to have this person leave them. They need them. They need them. They don't want them. They need them. And there's a huge, huge fucking difference. Could be dealing with kids too. Something to do with kids. One more. Let me make this a shorter reading. What else do they need to know? Huge influence, damn. This, this fucking karmic is jealous of you. They're jealous of you. I feel like a lot of you could be watching this situation unfold from the outside. Maybe you're watching them on social media or you're seeing it in person. However it is, it appears to be a certain way. And I feel like a lot of you could actually feel jealous of this situation because they are with your person. However, this person knows about you. They know about the connection that you have with who they're fucking using. And, and although they don't care enough to actually address it, they may if it hurts their nest. So... Whatever it is that they're gaining by being with your person, if it affects it in some way, they're going to do what they need to do. But this person is really jealous of you. They're really jealous of the connection that you have. I feel like maybe at some point it turned. I feel like maybe they had genuine feelings but then when they found out about you, it just, okay, well, this isn't going to work, but I'll stay because of whatever that situation is. One more. Wow. Really a bad influence. But, you know... You're not responsible for what you attract, but you are responsible for what you entertain. So this person, your person, decided to mess with this third party, and sometimes that's just the lesson that they need. Damn. Replaying conversations and the times that you guys spent together. Hmm. Feeling some type of way about always holding back from you, being in denial, having these issues, fear of intimacy, fear of commitment, fear of having to do more. This person, don't shoot the messenger, I'm hearing lazy. They could be someone who just has always given the bare minimum and you expect more, you deserve more from this person. But yeah, you're definitely, you influence them as well. They feel like a different person when they're thinking about you or if they're looking at you on social media as well. They feel like they could be a better person, but they're choosing this path right now. They are sorry. 
they wish that they didn't hold hold back hold back from you but again yeah this third this third party <clears throat> it's fucking toxic shit anyways if you're new to my channel and you take my vibe please subscribe have a great day